Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And once again, the war from One Hive Genesis. Um, just a great job, by the way, uh, going through the war log. Everything green except for the one red stripe against the uh, scrimmage versus One Hive or about three weeks ago. So um, just doing a great job. Just wanted to point that out. Um, but anyway, we're looking at a war against, I believe, an Asian clan, and um, typical stuff, all the 10s, 2-starred, uh, I actually got pretty close, uh, we'll take a look at this one on a 3-star on that 10, and then uh, all the 9s and 8s taken care of across the board. Um, they got, looks like one 3-star up top, but for the most part, we're the typical 2-star uh, clan, and then when you get towards the 8s, those are 3 stars. so nothing out of the ordinary for just a typical war. Uh, but do have some good attacks to show. They had a couple bases that were pretty good. Um, some of them were kind of weak, but uh, we, we'll look at the good bases. Um, starting with a very uh, close th three-star attempt by Pen Dragon. Uh, we've seen a lot of its attacks recently. Um, just starting off with the Queen Walk, and I drop a few wall breakers just to let her into this compartment. I think the goal here is to get the enemy queen taken out and get two of those air defenses. They're both within reach. Um, goes ahead and drops just a few minions. I think it's to clear out some of this trash while that archer tower is distracted. Uh, maybe take out that archer tower in the process. Uh, the queen actually already gets her anyway. Um, locked on that air defense. That's good. It's going to go down in just a moment. And then she's going to continue her walk onto the left. Uh, just taking out buildings as she goes. Getting pretty good value. And then has to drop her rage here in just a moment. Because uh, has that expo, the archer tower locked on. In that maxed out point defense does quite a bit of damage. Um, then that cannon's going to get on too when she has to take out the enemy queen as well. Uh, so pretty sizable queen walk getting pretty good value for her. Just letting her continue her walk through that compartment. Um, I actually attacked this base and someone else did. And we both kind of did a similar queen walk. So Pendragon kind of already knew uh, how it was going to look uh, once he started the walk. So nothing unexpected here. Gets that air defense taken out. And then drops in the king. He's going to make his way in. A few wall breakers just to let him in. Um, I wasn't exactly sure the goal for the king, maybe to get in and try to get to that inferno tower or something. Uh, but either way, starting in with the air attack to the right, uh, dropping haste, uh, rage, trying to propel those balloons along. You can see the lava hounds cutting across the middle of the base, which is good. Uh, dropping a freeze on that inferno tower. And his balloons just don't quite path into the inferno towers how they should have. You can see they're going to these Teslas. And they got blown like on top of that Inferno Tower, but their AI won't let them recharge it. So they all get clumped up here. Uh, Ten different Inferno Rays all on these balloons. Um, and they just get destroyed. Uh, the King, you can see using the ability, he's going to take out that entire compartment up top. Uh, the Queen went down, and I think that was pretty important because uh, the Inferno Stream got locked onto her. And she lost uh, the healing from the healers. Because uh, obviously you can't heal through Inferno uh, Rays. So the Queen went down. And then the king is all that's left. Really no defense is left. Just those infernos in the mortar, which aren't a huge threat to the king. Uh, plus that lava hound, obviously. Uh, but a few skelly traps pop. And just over time, they slowly take him down. Uh, we'll fast forward here because he does uh, put up quite a fight. Gets in there, takes out the town hall, I think, as well. Uh, but just runs out of juice here when the skellies pop. Uh, so very nice try to pin dragon. Uh, just kind of weird balloon pathing, uh, kind of cost him it, but not much you can do about that, especially on a first attack, or a first try using a uh, go la loon like that, so uh, nice try. Alright, uh, we're going to take a look at um, number 3, Cotton Eye Joe, this is probably the best Town Hall 9 base they had that I could find, um, uh, you know, it's an anti-3, which is... Uh, what we're used to seeing in the arranged wars, so it's good to see some of these in just the normal wars, a uh, good practice, and always fun to go against. So we're looking at Cotton Eye Joe bringing a Go Vaho um, with a Queen Walk. So obviously can get in there with the Queen, uh, try to make her go up top by funneling her with those archers, and then take out the enemy king along the way. Um, so you can see take takes out that can, then she'll go right up top, in just a moment and even this what is he level 16 king uh with that one archer tower he gets that queen pretty low um doesn't end up dropping a rage or anything because the queen can get through him 
but a lot of times that uh, enemy king can really do an ember on the queen if there's no rage, so uh, don't underestimate him, especially if he's higher level. This one was only 16, uh, but the higher level kings can be a big threat to the queen on the queen walk. Anyway though, uh, queen's going to step here up here in just a moment, and when she targets that king altar, I believe the enemy queen engages, uh, goes ahead and uses the ability, that's great. Um, I was wondering at first why he didn't save the ability for the CC troops, uh, but it looks like he has two poisons, so just a double poison will take out the uh, the balloon dragon combo in there real quick, uh, drops the hog to lure it out, so uh, I guess doesn't need the ability for this and didn't want to waste a rage because he's not even going to use a rage on this queen walk. Just going to drop the two poisons and the balloons will get uh, roasted pretty fast and even that dragon goes down pretty fast inside the two uh, poisons. So pretty uh, smart thinking there just to use the ability early and CC troops go down very easily. Now coming in here on the bottom with uh, his kill squad, dropping down two golems, some wall breakers to let everything on in, wizards creating the funnel obviously, and then has the Valks in just a moment. Uh, losing a few wizards just to the point defense, but not that big of a deal. You can see the king coming in here and has that rage he saved just to help them move their way through the base, a jump. Um, you can see a lot of those buildings are nice and compact inside the core, so Valks love to target those. They're going to get in there and do quite a bit of damage. It has the big Tesla farm, some skelly traps, um, all stuff Valks are great at taking out. Uh, so... Uh, you can see even the golems trigger a double set of bombs off to the left there. Pretty much safe for the few hogs he has is to send them in. And I like how he only brought one heal for the hogs just because, uh, as I say, uh, invest your spells where you invest your troop space. So uh, no point bringing in mo multiple heal spells for just 12 or 13 hogs. Um, goes ahead and just uses that one heal because uh, the spells are better spent on his queen and on his uh, Valk's king uh, where he's really investing a lot of troop space. But anyway, uh, crushes this base pretty easily. I uh, agree attack for Cotton Eye Joe. Way to get it done. Okay, we're going to go down quite a bit here and take a look at uh, number 23. And this is a Town Hall 8 taking on a very new Town Hall 9. Um, and obviously a very under-upgraded base, but never easy to do as a Town Hall 8. It's, it's a big gap from there to Town Hall 9. Um, and pretty much a big gap whenever you jump up a town hall level. So getting a three star here, definitely not just an easy thing to do. It takes a pretty solid attack. And uh, I think he might have known what that giant bomb is. Not sure if this is the first attack or not. Maybe just got lucky during the lure. But anyway, gets the giant bomb triggered. Uh, gets the CC lure. And then just goes ahead and uses the uh, barb wizard combo. Goes ahead and drops the poison. Kind of at first wasn't going to. But decides to use one of his two poisons on the... CC troops, which is a good idea, and saves one in case there's a skeleton trap or for the king, uh, whatever he needs it for. Coming in with a golem, and then some wizards create the funnel, has the king making his way in. Uh, it looks like he's just going to go in there, take out the enemy queen, um, and then possibly trigger some giant bombs. Backing up the kill squad with the hogs here, that's very nice, uh, so he doesn't w you lose any wizards that he doesn't need to. Dropping his first heal right there, a good placement on that. And the hogs are making their way into the core of the base. Uh, King's still up, golem's still up, and some more wizards. So they're making their way along the bottom of the base, triggering another giant bomb. Um, and then it has that second heal where all those defenses are clumped up, so getting good value for the heal. And you can see here uh, the king, the skelly trap is starting to pop out. So has that poison, and I believe he will use it in just a moment right there. Uh, gets the skeleton traps, the king. All that off his hogs and getting some damage onto them. Uh, so good use there. And has you know a pretty solid bunch of hogs left over. Still has the king's ability which he uses. Um, and his king lasted quite a long time just because he used the hogs on the same side as the kill squad. Which is a good idea just to protect the kill squad, the king, the wizards. Don't make them take any unnecessary damage. Has a wizard up top for cleanup. Things are a little bit um, sparse but has enough to get the job done. And has a pretty good uh, bunch of hogs that splits up here and uh, gets the cleanup done even faster. So great attack to Clash, I guess was the name, uh, taking on a Town Hall 9 and getting the job done. Alright, they only had one Town Hall 8 base that really was even somewhat well laid out. Um, obviously kind of a forearm base, not really anti-3 star, but an okay layout. The others were just kind of compact. 
uh, just bring 40 hogs and just destroy them. Uh, but this one actually took a little bit more planning, so I'm going to go ahead and show this one by Napoleon on their number 26. Um, you know, max town hall uh, 8 it looks like, minus maybe the king, but pretty much maxed out, uh, besides walls obviously too. And uh, the layout, like I said, is okay. Some spots for giant bombs and stuff inside the base. Goes ahead and just does a, uh, I think a hoggler it was, and then a double poison to take out the CC troops. Um, now you can start with his attack, dropping a golem down, a few wizards to create the funnel, typical stuff you see. Um, I thought he maybe used a too, little too many wizards, didn't really save any for cleanup, and <clears throat> didn't need all those to create the funnel. So, I uh, wasn't too sure about that, but has a few witches in the CC. I believe those are the level 3 max witches. Yeah, those are the max level 3, so they can wreak some havoc on a Town Hall 8 base. Um, they're going to make their way in there. He's trying to get some giant bomb spots taken out, and then has the hogs coming in from the left side. Uh, just kind of a surgical deployment. Has some heals for them, which we'll drop in just a moment. Uh, right there, good placement in the core. Going to protect against the... Double said giant bombs that was there, they trigger them one at a time. Still has the witches up spotting skeletons, distracting some of the defenses. And the hogs making their way through has the third heal already going down and heals over that giant bomb spot. So quite a lot of damage in the core with all those Teslas and giant bombs. But nimbly avoids them and is able to get the three star here. The hogs are going to turn, take out the king, take out the skelly traps and has quite a few wizards. And I think even one of those witches up for cleanup, so... Uh, great attack to Napoleon. You guys probably see this Town Hall 8 base a lot in your your wars, so I uh, wanted to show this one being 3-starred, and it was the best TH8 base they had in their clan. Anyway, that's going to do it for this recap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, wish I could have shown a few more, but just not a whole lot of uh, good bases uh, that they had to really show any kind of good attacks on, but did what I could, so hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Steph to Tron out.